Hi, welcome everyone uh, to the second edition of Meet the Expert vlog. My name is Daan Meijsen. I work as a commercial solutions manager for the parcel market. And recently we posted uh, the announcement of this vlog about robotics in the parcel market. We got a lot of questions, so thank you for that. And I know just the right person who can help us with this. So let's go. Hey, Helter. I told you about the questions uh, we received on social media about uh, yeah. uh, robotics within the parcel market. Yes. And, um, well, I know you can help me answer them, but maybe you can first uh, explain a little bit about yourself and uh, what Van der Lande does in the, in the realm of robotics. Yes, of course. So, uh, I'm uh, the technical product manager in robotics for Van der Lande, responsible for uh, all the segments which we serve. Uh, Van der Lande already has many years experience in robotic loading, eh? like uh, started with uh, airports uh, loading 15 years ago of ULDs and, uh, and later mixed palletizing uh, for food uh, retail. Last year we have uh, already sent a demonstrate on the post expo which is carrier uh, loading and unloading. And also e-commerce is really pushing robotics forward. And Parcel is next? Parcel is indeed next. It's uh, the next big thing uh, in the logistics. And is there a reason why Parcel follows e-commerce? Uh, yes, there is a reason, but I better draw you a picture and explain you uh, what challenges we need to take and how we are going to tackle yeah, that. Sure. Yeah. So basically there are three pillars. One is uh, cycle time or capacity, which means the throughput of objects per hour. We have to deal with a large diversity of objects within parcel. Compared to warehousing, it will be a larger diversity in the sense of weight and size and shape of the objects. Mm -hmm. uh, and reliability means actually how robust you can pick a parcel with the first attempt. Uh, compared to warehousing, this also needs to increase. And last, you can think about task flexibility. And task flexibility uh, uh, means that uh, the amount of other functions a robot can perform, like weighing or scanning objects during motion. Mm -hmm. And if we improve all these points, and, well, and that was one of the questions as well that came up, can we then totally replace a human operator? Uh, yeah, I think we can already uh, replace some of the human operators in the parcel market. But it's the best when I show you, so uh, just come with me. Okay, all right. So Yalta, where are we going? We go to our uh, heated uh, innovation center. And this is the place where we test and demonstrate our uh, newest solutions. It's safe to stand here, right? Yes, it's safe to stand here. Okay. Uh, this is not a parcel setup. You're right, this is not a parcel setup. Uh, at this moment, it's confidential to be at a parcel setup. That's why I brought you here, because the principles are the same. We have to see items and we have to pick items. Mm -hmm. uh, seeing items, uh, we can even detect up to material level uh, what, the, what type of material the object has. And on, uh, on picking items, especially for parcel handling, we have to be able to pick all the parcels at one robotic cell, also to pick, uh, to pick it with a certain gripper uh, or with certain acceleration. And if we solve these items, we can replace human operators. And then we can replace human operators. So, it can handle parcels in a gentle way as well. The robot can handle parcels in a gentle way. So, if I now put down my phone, yeah. then it will handle it gently? Yes, it will handle it gently. Let's see. Still works. Still. <laughs> One of the viewers asked, where will we see the first robots within Parcel. At some processes, robots already outperformed humans, I like palletization and depalletization. Mm -hmm. I believe that the next step will be induction of parcels on a belt, mm -hmm. uh, which then uh, can infeed the sorter, for example. And thereafter, you can think about uh, like a direct placement of objects on a sorter. Mm -hmm. And thereafter, you can even think about uh, carrier loading and unloading. Sounds like a lot of work. Yeah, we have more than enough to do. Good. <laughs> All right, thanks for helping us out. Well, I think this was a good conversation with Yalte and I hope you learned a lot more about robotics applications within the parcel market. I can imagine and I hope that you have even more questions about either robotics or other parcel related questions. Feel free to ask them on LinkedIn. Don't forget to hit the like button and hopefully see you next time. <laughs>